Is sitting near a Wi-Fi router dangerous? Most, if not all, electrical devices such as Wi-Fi routers, cell phones, etc., emit radiation even if at low levels. This begs the question, is it safe to be exposed to Wi-Fi routers radiation across a long period? Consistent researches on Wi-Fi routers radiation has found that it has several damaging effects such as oxidative stress, cellular DNA damage, testicular damage, etc., on the human body over time. However, some factors can exacerbate the dangers associated with exposure to their emissions. There are differing opinions concerning the danger posed by exposure to the radiation emitted by Wi-Fi routers. Several people consider the emissions by these devices unsafe while others believe them to be safe. This article aims to provide you with enough information concerning Wi-Fi router radiation and the effects of exposure to them. And by the way, if you want to minimize the EMF radiation you are exposed to in your daily life, I highly recommend checking out the first link in the description below this video. What is a Wi-Fi router? There was a time, long ago, when our computers were the only internet-enabled devices. But today, several devices like cell phones, fridges, thermostats, crockpots, etc., can connect to the internet. To connect these devices to the web, we need to use wireless routers, or Wi-Fi routers, which are devices that stream radio waves, a form of radio frequency radiation, through the air to provide internet connectivity to the devices that are connected to it. Wi-Fi is a wireless network that has a minimum of one antenna which connects to the internet and wireless internet-enabled devices such as laptops, cell phones, computers, etc. While the internet connectivity it offers technological devices is amazing, it may pose some health risks to human bodies as a result of the EMF that it radiates. Since Wi-Fi gained popularity, it has been used by most organizations and people, providing them with the mobility they require so that they can access their internet resources from any place they are. How do Wi-Fi routers work? A Wi-Fi router uses radio waves to send information across networks. It is used to translate the data that is transmitted as a radio signal. Subsequently, the signal is transmitted through the antenna of the wireless device, which goes through the router. Are Wi-Fi routers safe? When EMFs are emitted from Wi-Fi routers, they don't cause illnesses or damages immediately. This is probably why many people choose to believe their emissions are safe. However, contrary to popular belief, Wi-Fi routers emissions can interfere with our bodily functions after long-term exposure. This may eventually result in diagnosable diseases like neurodegenerative diseases and cancer. Because these diseases develop over a long time, it is difficult to prove that long-term exposure to Wi-Fi routers emissions is their direct cause. The absence of substantiated evidence on this topic is why the International Agency for Research on Cancer IARC, classifies Wi-Fi radiation to be a Class 2B possible carcinogen. This article and other studies are reasons why EMF radiations from Wi-Fi routers and other devices are considered to be unsafe. It was mentioned in the article above that the ARC stated that epidemiological studies that involved humans who used Wi-Fi and cell phones over a few years were inconclusive. However, when rodents were used, instead of humans, in similar studies, it was found that the radiations can cause cancer or exacerbate cancer prognosis. It also found other changes in the brain and blood-brain barrier of the animals that were exposed to the EMF emission. Other pieces of evidence in addition to the cause of diagnosable illnesses like cancer and other neurodegenerative diseases, there are other dangers. Several other studies also found that Wi-Fi routers emissions can cause oxidative damages to cellular macromolecules like proteins, lipids, and DNA. Furthermore, some studies were carried out on both humans and animals to determine the effects of 2.45 GHz Wi-Fi signals on their health. These studies were able to demonstrate that radio frequency radiations from Wi-Fi routers damaged sperm count, motility, and DNA integrity. It also resulted in degenerative damages, DNA damage, elevated cell death, lower testosterone levels, etc. More animal studies on the effects of Wi-Fi radiation on brain activity revealed that long-term exposure to Wi-Fi radiation and stress causes the development of behaviors that are similar to anxiety. However, it does not affect spatial learning ability and memory. Several other studies conducted on the effects of long-term exposure to Wi-Fi radiation on human and animals have found that they are related to other damaging effects on their body. 
However, it is imperative to note that the following factors can exacerbate the dangers involved. The number of Wi-Fi routers emitting the radiation. The age and overall health status of the individuals exposed to the radiation. The proximity of the individual to the Wi-Fi router and The length of exposure. What is the safest distance from Wi-Fi routers? As we have previously established, Wi-Fi routers use radio waves which are non-ionizing radiations, hence, are not too harmful. These radiations are the type that is emitted by security alarms, baby monitors, cell phones or cordless phones, as well as microwave ovens. Compared to microwave ovens, the level of emissions from Wi-Fi routers is about 100,000 times less. This is because microwave ovens emit high levels of radiation within a short distance while Wi-Fi routers emit lower levels of radiation at longer distances. The signals emitted by these devices adhere to the inverse square law, which provides that the increase in distance from a source of energy, the less the intensity of the energy becomes. If you increase the distance between yourself and the Wi-Fi router around you, the level of radiation you would be exposed to will decrease. If you doubled your distance to the router, you would be exposed to about a quarter of its emissions only. In simple terms, you can sit close to a Wi-Fi router all day without experiencing any harm. However, you need to put the aforementioned exacerbating factors into consideration before you can assert that there really is no harm. For instance, the radiations might be harmful to you if you are exposed to radiation for more than Wi-Fi router, constantly exposed to radiation for days on end, it is important to understand that we are constantly being exposed to radiation from different sources, and they add up in the human body. Therefore, you need to be watchful of the level of radiation you are exposed to at any given time because you don't know when the amount in your body will be large enough to cause damages. You can take precautions rather than risk it. Also, I just want to quickly mention that if you're at all concerned about EMF radiation, you should take a second and check out the first link in the description. How to reduce exposure to Wi-Fi router radiation It is important to reduce the exposure to Wi-Fi router radiation as much as possible to avoid causing the rapid increase in the amount of radiation in the body. The following are some of the steps you can take to reduce the level of radiation you are exposed to. Turn off your Wi-Fi router before you go to bed. When it is time to sleep, ensure you turn the Wi-Fi router off since everyone would probably be sleeping at that time. This is critical to avoiding any interference the emitted Wi-Fi signals may cause in the brain during sleep. It also enables the body to rest. When you turn your Wi-Fi router off, you are effectively reducing exposure to the radiations by about 33%. Several router models have features that enable them to automatically turn off and turn on Wi-Fi connection at the required time every day. Turn on your Wi-Fi router only when in use. Ensure your Wi-Fi router is on only when you or any member of your family needs to use it. This will help you to reduce your exposure to Wi-Fi a few hours a day. Hardwire all your internet connections. The best decision you can make to reduce your exposure to Wi-Fi radiation would be to give it up altogether. While this does sound daunting and impossible, it is a highly effective way you can mitigate your exposure to radiation. You can then scale up to hardwired internet, which is a faster and more consistent internet connection. Put your devices on airplane mode. Your mobile devices emit EMF radiation when their receivers are turned on. Since we use these devices daily and close to our bodies, we expose ourselves to high levels of radiation for an extended period. Putting your devices on airplane mode will help to reduce Wi-Fi. Use low EMF emitting wireless routers. There are specific wireless routers available on the market that are safer than other routers because they emit low levels of radiation. Examples of which are the JRS ECO 01A on ASUS and JRS ECO 100D1 on ASUS. These wireless routers have features that enable them to work efficiently with telephone companies like Verizon and Atan among others. They also reduce electrosmog by cutting down on the beacon pulse frequency by 90%. Furthermore, when they are not connected to any Wi-Fi device, the JRS ECO 100 models automatically switch to a completely radiation-free full ECO standby mode. When you re-enable Wi-Fi connection on your wireless device, these routers will automatically switch back on. Stop adding gadgets or upgrading to wireless gadgets. 
The wireless technology brings new wireless-enabled devices like smart home thermostats, smart beds, Bluetooth-controlled cookers, wireless baby monitoring system, etc., every day. While these gadgets make life much easier, they increase the level of radiation you are being exposed to. Therefore, you need to stop acquiring them. Conclusion Although Wi-Fi routers emit low levels of radiation, these emissions accumulate in the human body until it results in damages, such as cellular DNA damage, testicular damage, etc. Sitting close to Wi-Fi routers causes your body to continually absorb the emissions from these devices, and the emissions continue to compound until it becomes deteriorating. To avoid this, you need to curb your use of the device or stop it altogether. You also need to maintain your distance when it is on. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more useful tips and tricks and visit imfardtips.com. Thanks for watching.